a pleasant day. Another example of literary pieces in different genres. We have horror, a quiet place, a film. About the literary piece, A Quiet Place is a 2018 American post-apocalyptic science fiction horror film directed by and starring John Krasinski. Written by Brian Woods, Scott Beck, and Krasinski, the plot revolves around a father and a mother who struggle to survive and raise their children in a post-apocalyptic world inhabited by blind extraterrestrial creatures with an acute sense of hearing. While in college, Beck and Woods began developing a story that would lead to the film. In July 2016, Krasinski, Krasinski read their spec script and was hired to direct and rewrite the script in March the following year. The film drew inspiration from other films such as Alien, No Country for Old Men, and In the Bedroom. Krasinski and Blunt were cast in the lead roles in May 2017. Filming took place in upstate New York from May to November 2017. A Quiet Place premiered at South by Southwest on March 9, 2018 and was released in the United States on April 6, 2018 by Paramount Pictures. It became a major box office success, grossing over $340 million worldwide and received critical acclaim for its atmosphere, direction, acting, and sound design. It was described as a smart, wickedly frightening good time and chosen by both the National Board of Review and American Film Institute as one of the top 10 films of 2018. The film received several award nominations including a Golden Globe Award for Best Original Score, Producers, Producers Guild of America Award for Best Theatrical Motion Picture, Writers Guild of America Award for Best Original Screenplay, and Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by a Female Actor in a Supporting Role for Blunt, which she later won. It was also nominated for a BAFTA Award for Best Sound at the 72nd BAFTA Awards as well for an Academy Award for Best Sound Editing at the 91st Academy Awards. A sequel, A Quiet, Pla a Quiet Place Part 2, is scheduled to be released on April 23, 2021, with Krasinski again directing and the main cast also returning. The film was originally slated for a March 2020 release but was postponed to September 2020 and later April 2021 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. About the plot, throughout the year 2020, most of the Earth's human and animal populations have been annihilated by sightless extraterrestrial creatures. The creatures which attack anything that makes noise have hypersensitive hearing and are covered in armor which is invulnerable to bullets and explosives. The Abbott family, wife Evelyn, husband Lee, congenitally deaf, daughter Regan, and sons Marcus and Bew, silently scavenge for supplies in a deserted town. Going barefoot while out in the open, the family communicates in American Sign Language. Four-year-old Bew is drawn to a battery-powered space shuttle toy, but Lee takes it away due to the noise it will make. Regan returns the toy to Bew, who also takes the batteries that is further removed from it. Bew activates the toy when the family is walking home while crossing a bridge, giving away his location to a nearby creature that kills him Excuse me, before Lee can save him. Over a year later, Regan struggles with guilt over her brother's death. Evelyn enters the final stages of pregnancy and Lee fruitlessly tries to make radio contact with the outside world. Lee attempts to upgrade Regan's cochlear, cochlear, uh, excuse me, cochlear implant with scavenge miniature amplifiers to restore her hearing. But the devices are ineffective. Later, Lee takes Marcus to a nearby river with a, with a large waterfall to teach him how to fish. While Regan abandons her mother to visit Bew's memorial, Lee explains to Marcus that they are safe from the creatures in the presence of louder and constant sounds as the sounds mask over their voices and do not attract creatures. Marcus then re reveals that Regan blames herself for Bew's death and needs her father to tell her he still loves her. Alone at the house, Evelyn goes into labor. While making her way to their ba basement, she accidentally steps on an exposed nail with her right foot. In pain, Evelyn accidentally drops a glass pitcher frame and alerts a nearby creature. Evelyn flips a switch that changes the exterior house lights to red as a danger signal to the others and struggles to remain silent during her contractions. 
Arriving at the farm and seeing the lights, Lee instructs Marcus to set off fireworks as a diversion. Arriving at the house, Lee finds Evelyn hiding in the bathroom with their newborn son and along with Evelyn. Makes his way to their improvised soundproof basement. Lee leaves to find the other children, promising Evelyn he will protect them. Evelyn then falls asleep but soon wakes to discover that the barn basement is flooded with water from a broken pipe and that a creature has found its way inside the basement hideaway. Regan, hurrying back to the farm, takes refuge atop a green silo with Marcus, lighting a fire to alert their father of their whereabouts. However, they ran out of lighter fluid and the fire dies before they can attract Lee's attention. A hatch door then suddenly gives way and Marcus falls into the silo. The sound of the door failing distracts the falling distracts the creature that was talking Evelyn it, and it targets Marcus and Regan. Regan, who was who has jumped in after Marcus sinks into the corn and nearly suffocates, but Marcus saves her. Regan's uh, cochlear implant reacts to the proximity of the creature by emitting a high-frequency sound that drives it away. The children proceed to escape from the silo and reunite with their father. The creature returns, attacking and wounding Lee, while Marcus and Regan hide in a pickup truck. After seeing his father wounded, Marcus shouts impulsively, attracting the creatures to the truck. Lee signs to Regan that he loves her and always has, before yelling to draw the creature away from his children. The creature, hearing Lee's voice, attacks and kills him. Regan and Marcus roll the truck down a hill to escape and return and reunite with Evelyn and the baby at the farmhouse. The four retreat to the house and basement. When the creature returns, Regan, who realizes that the sound made by the implant distresses the creature, switches the device back on and places it on a nearby microphone. Amplifying the feedback, painfully dis disoriented, the creature exposes the flesh beneath its armor head, allowing Evelyn to fatally shoot it with a shotgun. The family views a CCTV monitor showing two creatures attracted by the noise of shotgun blasts approaching the house. With their newly acquired knowledge of the creature's weaknesses, the members of the family arm themselves and prepare to fight back. That's all. Thank you.